just, first of all, I need to go and take Rio for a walk. Here he is. Oh my god, it is literally the nicest day ever outside today. It's like, I was walking around thinking, oh my god, it's actually warm. It's not even windy. And then I checked the temperature and it's 18 degrees. The annoying thing about when it's warm weather is that it always makes me want to go out and do something. I just have to spend the day on myself. I'm just about to make a coffee. So my plan is, I think, go to Apple and buy a new iMac because the one I've got now, I think I've had since 2017. It's just it's just running really slowly and I, I feel like I just want a new one anyway. So I'm going to get that one fixed, my old one, so it's not just like a waste. Um, but I am going to go and buy a new one. I can't decide whether to get a pink one or a white one. Part of me just feels just go with white because, you know, because like my colour phase, like, it comes and it goes, whereas I always like minimal black and white things. So I feel like the best thing to do is just go for white. But the pink one is pink and red. The dog. I love these. I feel like I don't even have anything interesting to update you on. Right, I've just spent ages trying to figure out what I was going to buy because at first I was struggling between colour. Like, do I want pink? Do I want silver? And then everyone on Instagram was like, don't get an iMac, get a PC. And then my brother was like, why are you getting a... Like, he was full and judging me for getting an iMac. I was like, Remy. But I've come to the conclusion that it's just gamers who are like, don't get an iMac. But, like, come on, I'm not using... I'm not a gamer. I'm not. I'm never going to play games, ever. I like the iMac, and I'm getting the iMac. I'm going. Right, you're going to have to be at a really bad angle because I don't have a tripod for my car. Well, I, d I do, and then I just tried to use it, and the stickiness is gone, and it was just not doing anything. So, you like it there now? <laughs> I'm on fuel reserve, which isn't good because if I am being completely honest with you, oh, she's off. Right, I've made it. That was, it literally takes like 10 minutes to get it, which is so good. Um, I have no idea if I filmed anything whilst I was driving because I really couldn't see properly. Well, yeah, let's go. So I've just got to the car park and I was gonna go to the office, set up the iMac, then go and get food. But my mum messaged and she's hungry and she wanted Wagamama. So I thought, mm, actually I should have that as well. So I'm gonna go to Wagamama's, get food, go home then set up the iMac later on this evening. Um, I'm just waiting right now because the food isn't done for another 30 minutes. So it takes me like 10 minutes to walk there. Oh my God. I do this all the time. My lipstick comes off and I don't even realize. <laughs> I've just got, let me show. I've actually, Never had this one before. I normally get a ramen. Let's see. It's a tofu. I don't know. Taste test. Mm. I was just uh, thinking, right. Oh, first of all, plant dead. Need to water that. Look at that. What have I done to that? I think my apartment's too sunny. What on myself now? <laughs> I'm feeling really upset by TikTok because obviously as you know 
I do social media as a job and one of my main places has been TikTok and that is where I built up all my following, that is where I got known as a dancer, it's where I've been on it for the past like five years since it was musically. I'm annoyed by the algorithm because I will post the same video on Instagram and TikTok and the Instagram one gets let's say like 7k likes, TikTok one will get 10k views, a thousand likes and it's so annoying and frustrating because it's out of my control like if people are liking the content on Instagram then surely if people were seeing it on TikTok they would like it on there too but just no one's seeing it like it's just not getting put out there even when I go live on TikTok it tells me 500k followers are active then why are only 30 being told that I'm live and I've asked TikTok and they, they just talk about this algorithm and they don't tell you anything and that's like it's this big secret. I find it so unfair, especially when you scroll through the For You page and just so, so many videos are just crap. I mean, there's some good ones on there, but most of it is just like, why? I really need to find a second job that I can do so that I don't have to worry too much about views and likes. So I also got myself a cookie. I love the food hall in Salvages and this was 50% off so I felt like well I have to oh my god look at it. Mmm SD card adapter. I hate that about the new IMAX. Made some Amazon purchases. Not been on there for so I bought a perfume stand because my perfume is just everywhere. I didn't realise I had to build it myself. That's stupid. Oh no. I bought some fake hoop earrings because... Can I send these back? I always wear these little fake hoops. That's the biggest size in this packet. And I really wanted some big, big hoops. For you, man. A skincare fridge. Favourite eye cream, eye cream, eye serum, anyway. I will do this when I get back because I need to go to the office before it gets dark. ASMR. I'm just waiting for my to tell me the Wi-Fi password because I can't set it up. Oh wait, maybe I can. Storage is full, it just keeps on getting worse. It's 9pm and I've edited the video, I've edited the thumbnail, I've wrote my caption, I've done my tags <laughs> and I'm just about to post, only like two hours later than I wanted to post, but oh, I post, did I crop the end? Ends, and it freezes on a weird thing. Right, who did that? I don't think that video is gonna do well. Unfortunately, I wasn't filming, but I just walked into my bathroom, the other bathroom, and did a pirouette started doing the jerk and then thought what am I doing that for? Let's take off this makeup. I'm using Elemis Collagen Cleansing Balm. I used to use micellar water for so many years and then once I started using a cleansing balm I was like yeah this is so much better. Freshly Cosmetics I normally use a toner next, but I've been sent some products from this brand called Bloom and Halo and it just looks really, really interesting and it's, it's an ex micro exfoli stick. It's an AHA exfoliating polish and I'm just so intrigued by it. I'm going to leave this to absorb and then I'm going to use the Clarins serum and my moisturiser which is in my bedroom. Oh, eye patches. I don't 
do them in the morning. <sighs> Idiot. As you can see, I am looking extremely tired right now. Ugh. I'm going to finish getting ready for bed and then... I need some lip balm. I'm going to finish getting ready for bed and then have an early night, wake up early in the morning and do some dancing, do some filming because I didn't do any today. Thanks for watching, if you did. If you didn't, then you won't be seeing this, so I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video.